is a very cool, silly, and wacky video. Ugh, my blueberries are all right, but I need help harvesting them in time for lunch. Says you never. Now I'm in little bots in your backpack. Tonight you'll be building, modding, coding, and, and harvesting blueberries with Little Bot. Little Bot, <laughs> a project from littlearmbot.com. Thank you. The Little Bot kit has sadly been but you can still easily get your hands on all the parts needed to build your own little bot. If your rogue robot trainer will get a parts list slash 3D print file link going for you in the description. Follow me, kids. Step one, go ahead and grab two continuous rotation micro servos, four servo mounting screws, and one little bot base. Feed your servo cables through these little holes in the base and pop each servo in there after that. Secure each one with a couple of servo screws. Step two, go ahead and grab two servo horns, two little bot wheels, and two servo spline screws. Pop each of those servo horns into a wheel and then screw them into the servos. Step three, make sure little bot swivel is attached to the bottom of its little base. Step four, go ahead and grab one Bluetooth module and four female to female jumper wires. I'm using colors red, orange, yellow, and black. Let's go ahead and start that wiring process. This little guy is a Bluetooth module and can send signals and info Bluetoothly, so that in this case, we can control little bot via an app on one of the mobile phones. Connect your red jumper wire to the VCC pin, black to the ground pin, orange to the TXD pin, and yellow to the RXD pin. Pin. We'll finish wiring this in a little bit. Step five, go ahead and grab one little bot head, one ultrasonic sensor, and four female to female jumper wires. Again, I'm using the colors red, orange, yellow, and black. This little guy reads distance to an object. Let's connect the jumper wires to the sensor's pins, black to the ground pin, yellow to the echo pin, orange to the trig pin, and red to the VCC pin. We'll finish wiring these up in just a sec. Step six. Now this little board here is called an Arduino. An Arduino is a brand of circuit board or microcontroller that you can program to control anything your heart desires. You can think of it as the brain of LittleBot. For right now, we're using an Arduino Nano, which is a wee little board that's perfect for controlling more basic projects like LittleBot. What the Arduino is connected to is a motor and sensor shield, and what this little guy does is it helps the Arduino interface with the motors and sensors so that the Arduino can control them. Now let's get wiring. Plug in your servos to your shield with the left servo going to pin row 2 and the right servo going to pin row 3. Use your jumper wires to connect the Bluetooth module's pins to the shield. The module's TXD goes to RX on the shield and RXD goes to TX on the shield. BCC goes to 5 volt on the shield. Ground goes to ground. Okay, so the last thing we gotta wire is that ultrasonic sensor. Use the jumper wires to connect your sensor to the shield. The sensor's ground goes to ground pin 8 on the shield. VCC on the sensor goes to voltage pin on the shield. The sensor's trig pin goes to signal pin 8. The sensor's echo pin goes to signal pin 9. Bazinga! Step 7. Go ahead and grab one 4AA battery pack and some batteries. Slide that Arduino and shield combo into the slot on LittleBot's base and tuck that Bluetooth module in here. Then pop some batteries into your battery pack and slide that sucker into this slot. Pop that ultrasonic sensor through the eye holes in LittleBot's head. Feed the battery box cord through the little hole in LittleBot's head, and then slide the head onto the base. Lastly, whenever you're ready for LittleBot to turn on, you can pop the battery box cord back into that hole and plug it into the shield. If you can get your hands on one, pop on a blueberry bulldozer. Link to 3D print file below. I do declare it's, say it with me now, time to code. Okay, so here's what you need to code LittleBot, the Arduino IDE. If you're in Nerdy Girls, it should already be installed on your computer, but if you're rogue, there's a link in the Discrizzle to download it. Next, an Android phone with the somewhat buggy LittleBot app installed, no shade. And finally, the code to make LittleBot come alive. So LittleBot's code has already been written for us, so all we need to do is download it and then load it up. So there's a link in the description that will take you to the download page for LittleBot's code. It's called Walter OS underscore 05.2.ino. Download that, then let's go! Move that newly downloaded file into your Arduino folder, try to open it, say yes to creating a sketch folder, and boom! Before we download to the Arduino, let's take a little tour of this code. Now, you don't need to be fluent in the Arduino language to understand the basics of what's happening in this sketch. And that's what the cool kids call an Arduino code file. So right here where it says void setup parentheses is what we call the setup function. When the code is first run, it'll go through whatever we put between this opening curly brace and this 
closing curly brace once. Okay, so in the setup function, these commands right here tell the Arduino which pins the left and right servos are plugged into. Our left one is connected to pin two and our right one to pin three. Okay, so next up, this code near the top, which will run at the very beginning, is telling the Arduino which pins our ultrasonic sensors trig and echo pins are plugged into on the shield. On my little bot, trig is pin eight and echo is pin nine. So I'm gonna change A2 and A3 to nine and eight. And so down here where it says void loop parentheses is the loop function. When the code is first run, it'll execute whatever's in the setup function once, and then it'll move on to the loop function and run whatever's in between the opening and closing curly braces over and over and over again, forever. Fun little tidbit, the setup and loop functions are the heart and soul of every Arduino sketch. One quick thing we gotta do before downloading any of our sweet, sweet code to the Arduino is unplug our Bluetooth module because having it plugged in would interfere with the Arduino's communication with the computer. Before we download code, we also need to give the Arduino IDE some info about the board we're gonna be downloading to. First, we need to tell it what type of board it'll be downloading to. Click tools and then scroll over board and LittleBot uses the Arduino Nano, so give that a good old click in. Next, we need to tell the IDE which COM port, aka communication port, on the computer the LittleBot is connected to. To do this, plug in the LittleBot and then open up device manager on your computer by doing the old search and click and click on ports. For me, LittleBot's COM port popped up under the name of USB serial port and right over here it says what number it is. Back to the Arduino IDE, click tools, scroll over port and click the correct port number. Alrighty, I do believe it's time to smash that upload button. Hit this little arrow right here and once the message done uploading pops up here, you're all set. P.S. Don't forget to reattach that precious little Bluetooth module after you're done uploading code. So now that the code lives on the Arduino, we need to pair the robot to the app on our phone. Make sure little bot is on, turn on Bluetooth on the phone you're using and pair the phone to the HC06 Bluetooth module. It might ask for a password, which should just be 1234. Once it's all set, get yourself to the little bot app App and hit that Bluetooth icon. Select the correct Bluetooth module and wait until the app returns to the home screen. So LittleBot is designed to have two modes of driving, driver controlled and wander mode, where it'll drive autonomously and avoid obstacles. To put LittleBot into driver controlled or tele-operated mode, hit that controller icon. BT dubs the hand icon makes LittleBot exit whatever mode it's currently in. But no matter what we've tried, the app crashes every time we try to put LittleBot into its wander mode. If you're testing LittleBot and it's driving and turning backwards, go into your code, head down to the remote mode, and make the negative left and right power positive. If the servos are driving forward and backwards incorrectly but turning the right way, swap where the servos are plugged into on the shield. Don't forget to disconnect power anytime you change wiring. I do believe it's battle time! Show them blueberries who's boss! In the blueberry bulldoze battle, you have two minutes to bulldoze 25 fresh, juicy blueberries into the baskets at either end of the arena. Let the battle commence!